we're gonna do a fishy cake. And you're asking what kind of fishy cake? You could do all sorts of different types of fish. You could do fun fish, more comical, or you can do one a little bit more realistic. Well, the person that is having their birthday likes to go fishing uh, for trout. So we're gonna do a trout cake. Now I was thinking trout. Well, I don't go fishing. I don't know what trout looks like. So what you can do is go do what I did. Go online and just do a search for trout. So I did that and it came up all these different types of trout. Who knew there were so many different types of trout? Well, of course the fisherman knows, but the home decorator doesn't know. So when I, I just kind of chose one design that I like and I printed it. So this is what I had to work with here. So I thought it looked kind of pretty to do the rainbow trout. That's why I chose that one. So we have this. The next thing we need is um, a pattern from this to go off of. So all you have to do is just take a regular piece of paper and this, go up to a window so you can see this behind your piece of paper and then just do an outline. And this is what we came up with, okay? So from this to this. Now the shape of this is just pretty, it's pretty long. So what I did here is I took a, a half sheet cake and instead of, usually I bake my cakes in sheets like this. So one, this is actually a half sheet board. Usually to make a quarter sheet cake, I would cut my cake in half, take this cake, put filling on this side of the cake and flip it over. Since I wanted a longer shape, this time what I did was I cut the cake long ways, filled half, took this cake and flipped it over. So we have a nice long piece to work with. Now, obviously this is way too small for this cake. So the next thing you have to do is you have to either scan this or put it in your computer somehow or go down to the copy store, whichever works best for you, and have this enlarged. If you're not quite sure how big it needs to be, just do a few different sizes and then when you come to do your cake, you'll be fine. So I took this, enlarged it, and since it wouldn't fit on one piece of paper then, it actually became two, like this, and I overlapped it a bit so it's easier for me to cut these out, place this one over the top of this one, tape that together, and then cut the entire piece out. Okay, so I did that, and voila, here's my pattern. Now it's okay, the fin is usually gonna be down here on the board, so, and it's gonna come down. So it's okay if your fin actually hangs off a bit. Uh, but this is what we have to work with. And this is a guideline. I might actually cut it to be a little bit larger just so I can use more of the cake. I just use patterns as a guideline, that's all. Now, the board that I'm gonna be placing this fish on is this size, it's a half sheet. So, what I might wanna think to do is actually have my fish curve a little bit more, which is what I'm gonna do. Yeah.